Hi, welcome to the Jeff and Jerry Show. I'm Jeff, I'm the borough manager of Mount Pleasant and my co-host. Jerry Lucia, mayor of Mount Pleasant. Well, Jerry, we're out here in the sun with a bunch of people and a lot of food and a lot of crafts and guess where we're at? <laughs> yeah, we're at the Glass Festival. We're at the Glass and Nothing <laughs> Festival. This is our annual show here. Yes, it is. Um, in the background, you can hear the monkeys playing. Uh, they sound good, I just know. like the monkeys. I know. Well, right now, we're here at the Yinger Farms uh, Sparky's Garden. And this is one of the new booths. Kids can come in here and they can actually plant. Uh, they got a, a, they buy a little uh, pottery thing. They plant it with dirt and they put a little uh, herb seed in there. And the kids can get it for, I believe, a dollar. And now they can grow that and that can be part of their little... Uh, then they can watch it grow. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little thing for them. Mm -hmm. This is new for us. And who uh, do we have in this stand, Jeff? Well, I don't know. We're going to talk to... Um, I'm Kristen. Kristen. Kristen, are you work at Ginger Farms? Um, I'm helping out, yes. They're just getting started. This is... Um, well, I want to do it, so you're going <laughs> to... You can be on camera a little bit. Uh, okay, well, who's this? I'm Lindsay. You're Lindsay. I think you're Mike's wife. You're uh, the owner. I'm a part owner, yes. And you are... My name's Sean. You are probably an employee there. I'm an owner. Okay. So this is this is great. You have a lot of kids come here. Oh yeah, we've had a lot of uh, kids coming in planting their own herbs. We have baby arugula and chives for the kids to plant, and they've had a lot of fun playing in the dirt. Okay, you're located right outside of Mount Pleasant on Route 31. Yes, sir. Okay, then down here, Jerry. This is one of our old-time favorites. This is Sparky's Camp, and uh, this is done by Laurelville Retreat Center. They, last year we're here for the first year, continue it back. It looks like they're fishing, Jeff. Well, they're fishing, and uh, it's a, a very popular, very popular. This is just for kids, and they get to do it for free. And the Laurel, the, the Laurel uh, Retreat Center is very involved very in, in the whole community. In the whole community. And there again, they're right outside of Mount Pleasant, going yeah. the other direction, going uh, 31 uh, East. Yeah. So we're going to come down here, and this part of this area is the glass vendors. We were here. Uh, we were here last year. This is Dan. Dan does torch work. He makes all of the glass necklaces and glass ornaments, and uh, very popular. People love it here. They come back. He had a long line watching him do the uh, torch work the other night. Yeah, I saw that. Hi, Dan. Good, how's it going? You having a good week in Mount Pleasant? Of course, always. Good, good. You want to see a demo on this one? Looks like the flame is burning. Now, uh, Dan actually come from the uh, Pittsburgh Glass Center. Uh, he's been here now, I believe, about four years. But uh, the torch work that he does is uh, amazing. And you can see the stuff he makes. Little background music to the torch work, you know what I mean, Rick? Dan was telling me he really likes uh, the festival because the people uh, come up and really want to see what he's doing. Yeah, it's a great demonstration. Yeah. He does demonstrations all night, all day and all night. Some of the other glass vendors, Jerry, actually have done their work. They don't really do demonstrations. But as you can see, 
these, uh, these I believe, are the uh, stones for the yards and for the gardens. Well, at least we can uh, be uh, friendly to all of our colleges. Well, this is my favorite. Pitt, you know, <laughs> Penn State in West Virginia. Okay, then we come down here, and uh, these are obviously glass bottles that are decorated for different seasons, different Ooh, holidays, different nice? style that of bottles. That is beautiful. At nighttime, it's really a beautiful booth. They're actually decorative wine bottles. And then this is a big vendor here. Does a lot of different kind of glass work. These are, I believe, called smash bottles. Um, as you can see, it's probably was a bottle and they just smash it. And they heat it up and smash it. But they also have some other glass jewelry and glass pendants. Look at this shot there. Boy, I tell you what, there's a, that's a nice, beautiful display. Bright. Oop. And over here is Peter O'Rourke. And Peter has been a, uh, uh, a Mount Pleasant resident for years when he came over to work at Lennox. And Peter does all kind of glass work, and so does some of the other people from the glass center who yeah. help Peter. So we also have a torch worker there, and you can see some of the work that Peter has done. Peter actually cuts glass, and uh, I believe he's one of three in the country that repairs a certain style of glass. Yeah. We're going to go down now to the food area. Well, here we are some of the food, and I think this is one of Jerry's favorite booths. This is the Rotary of Mount Pleasant area. Yes, it is. And uh, Mount Pleasant Rotary. They do the uh, fish and the fresh cut fries, and I think we stopped here last year and ate. But um, they are always a popular booth, and you can tell and right away Tony, the signs. there's look, and there's our principal. But well, we got everyone out today. Okay. And uh, we have another announcement of what's going on at the festival by the town crier. But uh, over there we see Armour's uh, Sausage and Hoagies. Um, has been a, a Mount Pleasant vendor almost from the beginning of the first year we were here. Um, he has been here since the first year. Well, his father started yeah. here. Uh, this is another booth. This is uh, Visitation. And we stopped here last year. Uh, Visitation does pizza. They do uh, Cavatelli with meatballs. I think we had Cavatelli here last year. Yes, here. we did. Um, they do Halupki, which is one of my favorites. Uh, you can see the lines. We're, uh, we're, we're sort of in the afternoon on Sunday, so the lines now, uh, the people are starting to eat again. Oh, yeah. Um, up through there, I don't know if we want to go all the way up through there, but uh, there's a lot of glass vendors up through here. Not glass, I'm sorry. A lot of other vendors, and we'll take a little stroll up. This is Green Dance. Green Dance is another local uh, Mount Pleasant vendor. Uh, they do the winery, and uh, they're here doing uh, taste testing, and they're also, you can buy bottles of wine. One of the unique vendors we have, Jerry, is uh, Jim's Country Farm Market. And yeah, uh, Jim has been here be again. Fall. Yeah, Jim's been here for several years. Yeah. You can actually buy produce and plants, and uh, he's done very well this week. He's uh, a local Mount Pleasant man that uh, he is. raises a lot. He is. He's a uh, uh, he's a true farmer. And you can see him at some of the other uh, farmers markets. Yes. Um, up here, we have uh, we have a vendor that's been here for a lot of years too. They do a different variety of things, but uh, popular and uh, nice people. Here's another uh, gentleman. This is uh, new, a new vendor for us. Uh, Hi. Actually, it was one of our uh, council president's daughters, and it got yeah. married. Uh -huh. A mountaintop engraving, and uh, you can see some of his work. He does all that by hand. Jeff, I'll tell you a story about him. I was there when he said, I do. Oh, were you? And look at him. He's successful. <laughs> he did. <laughs> and he did, right? <laughs> Always one of our favorites, Jerry. Has been here many, many years as far as a uh, vendor for the Glass Festival, but also a Mount Pleasant business. It's yeah. the Sand Hill Berries booth. And uh, I know you stop here three or four times a day. Okay. <laughs> no. Huh? I but, bring uh, my pies home every Thursday. <laughs> I, I guess you do. But as you can see, 
the stuff that they sell, and a, another example of uh, the kind of products you oh, can buy there. Oh, Rob! You know, and I, and I'm Rob just shoved this in my direction. I, Did you know, he really? So I wasn't even like um, I could I couldn't do anything about it. He just shoved it to us. So uh, we have to have our <laughs> cameraman. Uh, cameraman, which one would you like, sir? I think the, uh, the is that apple? It's Dutch apple. Dutch apple. Dutch apple. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we're going to uh, we're going to take a second. We're going to look at it, and then we're going to eat it because you got only a second to look at it. Okay. Yeah, that's all you get. Like that. That's right. But uh, this is a this is one of our favorite booths to have here, and many people many people look forward to coming here. Rob, how long have you been here? Long time. We've been coming for a lot of years. Well, it's 32 years old. I'm guessing you were here for 25. Right, 25. Yeah. yeah. We're old now. We just came when we were young. You even yeah. know how to set the stand up now. Yeah, all by myself. <laughs> no, I saw your helpers. Yeah, we had help. <laughs> I remember the first year. It was kind of a little bit of a, a work small, in progress. Yeah, we had a little old flyboard booth, you know, yeah. sitting on the ground. Yeah. But, uh, Rob, you've always been a great vendor. Yeah, well, thank you for having us, and you did a great job, and I hope you sold all your tickets. Uh, we did. <laughs> okay, we all we just finished our pie, Rick and I, and Jerry's working on his second piece of pie. Well, so um, he'll finish that. up the yeah. second piece, and we can go on. Jerry. How do you like your second piece of pie, Jerry? No, this is Okay, that's very good, anyway. Jerry. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue moving on. You want to catch up to us? I'll catch up. <laughs> okay. Well, we're up through the vendors now and getting into the craft area. And right now, we have another vendor who's uh, called the Retired Shoes. And as you can see, she takes little, little uh, shoes like that, and she makes uh, craft items out of them. And it's really unique. We're happy to have her. These are the, these are the boots, and uh, these are some of the other shoes she has here. Very, very unique. Over here is another... Uh, Crafter, and I'm going to let you look at them a little bit as Rick takes a, uh, a candid uh, shots of all the booths. We're going to come over here to one of the other new booths. And this booth here is actually, um, we're going to bring her over here. This is Rachel Basinger. And Rachel is, uh, you may have heard of Rachel. She does, she's also a reporter for some of the local newspapers. Her daughter does these. And um, what would you call that? So they're handmade pumpkins crafts and uh, she does stuffies and pillows and trick-or-treat bags and she's 14 years old. I'm impressed. I don't see the skill level from you like I do from her. Yes, no, I can't do this. <laughs> no, she's from YouTube. That's what we parents depend on. These okay, days. that's the education process. But a great booth. I think uh, you did okay today. Yeah, we did great. I had a great weekend. Thanks. So that's new, and I think she'll be back again next year. So again, we can look at some of the other booths up through the Midway. Jewelry is always one of the favorites in the Glass and Ethics Festival. Lots of jewelry booths. Today, we're going to stop over here, and uh, this vendor's been here. And what's your name? My name is Carol. And Carol, where are you from? I'm from Butler, PA. Butler. So Carol's been here how many years now? This is my third year. Okay, and Carol does beautiful, beautiful jewelry work. And Carol, I think you do a lot of this yourself. I do. I do a lot of the work myself, and what I don't do, I work directly with my manufacturers on, and they help me out with that. So So you in any kind of national magazines? I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a small town girl. Okay. <laughs> Living in a lonely world. Jeff. That's right. That should be the name of a song. We should write a song on it. It was, and I think they do beautiful work, and we're glad to have her here. Okay, again, some of the most popular booths, some of the ones that have been around for a while. Country Pie Shop in Mount Pleasant. You can see over here they have all their uh, baked goods type of stuff, and you can look over this side. This is uh, Armour's Gyros. Uh, this starts another section of food, and what we do is we mix up food, and we mix up crafts, and then we do food again. So um, this is the old general store. Um, lots of products. We've also done shows down there, but he brings it here to the uh, festival. Um, takes a lot of time to set this up, though. Okay, over here, this is uh, Courtyard Catering. Courtyard's from uh, a local neighborhood uh, right outside of uh, Scottsdale. And uh, they always come here every year. They do uh, fresh cut fries and deep fried vegetables. Um, on this side, um, 
one of the vendors from that's from all over the country. This is Michael Chan. Chan does our Chinese food here. Uh, he travels all over the uh, country doing Chinese food. Uh, one of the better vendors in the country. Poppy's Kettle Corn from Champion PA. Um, everybody likes to watch the uh, kettle uh, cooking the popcorn. I think we did this, we watched this last year. You, you can't beat the smell, can you, Rick? Before we go up further, um, we're starting to come to the, one of the sections where we have a stage. I don't want to go up there too, it's too loud. But we have some uh, vendors here who do shirts. We have another Armored Sausage trailer. On the left-hand side, we have uh, uh, five or six more crafters. And then we have our stage up here. So we run stages on all the areas of the festival. Now as we enter the uh, hub of the festival, which is really the center of the festival, this is our, um, this is our hub area. People, this orientates people to where they can look on the map. And which if they all direction? end up here, then in which direction we have certain things. Sort of like if you're at Disney World. Sort of like Disney World. But we have vendors up through here. Um, this is our main gazebo. Right now we have the monkeys performing, a tribute to the monkeys. It's sponsored by Armstrong. Throughout the festival, Jerry, we do other things than just stages. Here we have a pumpkin carver. You can see some of the carvings he's doing now oh, as he's watching it. And that is fantastic. It is. And he'll be back here many years. Um, Jeff, that one back there sort of reminds me of me smiling and you always with the computer. Uh, well, uh, well, I'm the one. That's, no, that one that says I'm tired since I'm doing all the work. <laughs> but uh, there's some of his work he did the other day. And he'll uh, go ahead and uh, carve this one out. Yeah. Okay, so this is the other section of Midway. This is the other part coming back from the hub. Yeah. You can see on both sides again we have food. This well, is our this committee. Is the, the this, committee's booth. this is the committee's booth. This is Don Cruz. Yeah. And uh, we're going to continue walking behind me. And um, another one of Courtyard Catering's booths. Uh, this they is do. Courtyard here. This is another Courtyard here. Yeah. You see Courtyards? Um, okay. This is St. Pius. Um, St. Pius does the uh, Polish food. Yeah. Things like that. We're going to stop over here, and I think we ate here last year, if you yes, remember. Yes, we did. I ate there today. You ate there today. <laughs> well, you ate, uh, you ate pie, you ate this. Rick and I are still catching up to you. But um, how many pierogies we have left? None. We have no pierogies left. And uh, so, you should have been here earlier, but uh, you can still get kibasi and you can get uh, Holoski. Good. We're going <laughs> So, we're going to come down through here. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. Um, we keep walking backwards here. We're going to get to uh, All Things Chocolate. You can look at the, uh, the case. Um, a lot of goodies there. A shaka covered Sweets uh, for the sweeties. Cheesecake. And you have uh, parfaits that are chocolate. Over here is one of the new vendors. And actually, you've probably seen this guy on, um, on our TV show. Uh, on our council, we go ahead, and this is uh, Rico Cholock. And Rico, you started uh, been in the craft bit. Yes. And uh, you're a councilman. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. And so some of the stuff you make this yourself, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Out of my house. And uh, beautiful stuff. And I think you've done pretty well this year. Yeah, it's actually been a pretty good year. Okay. Yeah, it's been real good. The weather's been great. There's been a lot of people here. Uh, you, you get to meet a lot of people here, don't you? Yes, absolutely. Um, Rico. Say about Rico, he's like, oh, oh, I like his pink tent. Yeah, yeah I saw that. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> it does. I got to be different. <laughs> but, no, you uh, have a nice display. Thank you. Very nice. And uh, Rico's eating there's again. There's the real boss. And there, coming and there's in the, uh, the wife. The, the wife. And uh, bring the food over since you already uh, brought it over here. Uh, Rico eats constantly. He eats probably more than us, if you know, <laughs> if, if you're going to talk about that. But uh, Rico, you did a beautiful job here. Thanks, Good. Guys. We are, we're going to get down here a little bit. We also have uh, lots of food for kids, popcorn, candy apples, snow cone. Mm -hmm. um, this is Ann Didi. She's from Greensburg well, area. Well, I don't know. I saw a lot of grown-ups with popcorn. Too. Well, that's right. I love popcorn <laughs> myself. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, kettle corn. It's the regular popcorn that you and I yeah. eat, eat all the time. Right. Um, this is Aunt Dee Dee's Monster Funnel Cakes. I'm sure you've seen her in many different places. Um, she does a gourmet funnel cake, so there's lots of things on that. Uh, we're going to enter now. we got some kids' games here. 
Uh, we have some other things for kids to play. Uh, we have a moonwalk, well, that moon makes bounce. It nice, though, Jeff, because when families come out, the kids get a little restless. Sure. And they have something different to do. And we want to be a family event. Yeah. So we want families to come out. Um, when we leave here, we're going to enter the Old Town area. Mm -hmm. And we've done this before, too. Yeah. And we well, talked about the Old Town part. The Old Town part is our historic, historic society. Yeah. And uh, we're real proud of the historic society and what they've accomplished. Um, Slope Hill Honey, Mount Pleasant PA vendor. Uh, raises bees. The best bee man in the uh, world. And has, uh, <laughs> has their own honey. And uh, we're going to say hi to her. Your name? Debbie Grindle. Debbie Grindle. And Debbie is married to? Brian Grindle. And Brian Grindle is probably out eating while you're doing all the work. No, he just ran to the truck for some products. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to come over here. Jerry's Belts. Another uh, well, vendor has been here. No, no, no. But he's been that's here many Jerry. years. And uh, Jerry actually does his own work. Yeah. As you can see. Sure, sure. Um, and I think Jerry's down in the... Uh, uh, the bridge, not sure. the Bridgeport area. You're down around the Iron Bridge area, am I sure. correct, Jerry? Yes, sir. Sure. Um, beautiful booth display here. Uh, does, does great work. And uh, we're going to look this way over here. We're going to see some of the cabins uh, that are down here that they found on Main Street, Jerry, when they tore some houses well, down. This, and they this cabin here, Jeff, to our left. It was there. It was there as a house. Yes. When they took the house apart, there was the cabin. And then this one they brought in from, I believe, out by Armburst. Armburst, you're right. We're gonna go over here and visit the, their food. Now their food is unique too. It's uh, uh, ham and bean it's soup. Bean soup. And uh, I believe it's ham and cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Something that I think you'd see back maybe in the 1800s. Yeah. Let's take a walk up. What have you tried here? Oh, I've had the bean soup, I've had funnel cakes, I've had pierogies, I've had chocolate dipped marshmallows, I've had lemonade, I had chips with uh, cheese all over them. Okay, Cindy, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but here in particular, you have the ham sandwich, ham and cheese and also the uh, bean soup. Just ham sandwiches and then homemade bean soup. We have hot and cold apple cider. Oh, okay. Have That's you right. been busy for the weekend? Very busy, yes. Good. We just Good. sold out of soup just a little bit ago. Oh, we uh, come down for soup. We were going to get soup. Uh, you know, that's not, we're disappointed. Uh, I'm really but, uh, disappointed. Sorry, you know, a little bit too late. <laughs> but uh, even though it's a little warm today, that tells you how good the soup was, but they were oh, yeah, still buying soup. soup. Yeah. And I think people come back all the time for that soup, don't you? Oh, there's a lot of people who say they come here for the soup, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to take a little quick picture of the cabins here that they have. And uh, we're going to have Richard Snyder stop over for a second. Richard is um, on the historical committee. And uh, Richard has been here many years. Uh, many, many, many. Working at the festival and for the historical society. Richard, what are you, what's your position at the horse historical society? I'm chairman of the board. Chairman of the board, and you're even out here working day at day and night, aren't you? Well, somebody has to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've been here many years now, yeah. and uh, and I know you you uh, talk about the uh, the importance of the festival, what it means to the historical society. It's one of your biggest fundraisers. It is one of our biggest fundraisers, and we are more than happy to have the food booth, but secondary. We're more than happy to have our log houses open for the community to see what we have. Um, actually, we do this for the community more or less. And now that the maintenance on the buildings is basically where our fundraising money is going into now. We've redone that wall on that cottage this, this summer. Last fall, we did a wall on this, and it cost between three and four thousand dollars a wall to take it apart and reach. Yeah, you, you just can't go to a hardware store and buy siding, can you? <laughs> no, not too easily. Okay, well, I think it's important. It is, it is great. We do it for the community, and like I told you yesterday, we're here to do this for you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, no, you mean you do it for everybody here. You're right. 
But um, I believe that every every town should have a historical society, and you hope to have one as good as Mount Pleasant. Boy, right they're fa fantastic. We're gonna head on up. Thanks, Richard. Richard. Thank you. Now let's let's see here. Uh, I, it looks like we have yeah. we have visitors from Ross Traver Township. Yeah. Right, and and you're here to support the Mount Pleasant firemen. Sure are. Well, your your uncle was a fireman, you know, and uh, he was a good fireman. Your dad, he didn't want to climb a ladder, but <laughs> your dad's a good guy. <laughs> that was Grandpa. I'm talking about Grandpa. <laughs> huh? Papa. Yeah, yeah. But we want to thank you for supporting the firemen. Maybe you'll drive that blue truck. Maybe. Yeah. Huh? How's the ticket sales going, Mark? Very brisk. Very brisk? Well, uh, bought a ticket to support the Mount Pleasant Volunteer Fire Department. It helps us keep doing what we do. Mark, did this Good. Well, thanks, guys. Keep it up. Remember, we have a truck going, going off in October, the end of October. Okay, Jerry, uh, we took a tour again of the festival, and um, I know you have to be full. Uh, three pieces of pie. That's, One a little, piece that's a little embarrassing, Jerry. But, well, you uh, know what? You really watched my diet this year. Because normally we eat at every stand. I know. I feel bad. Well, after three pieces, I thought you weren't going to be hungry no, anymore. One piece. And I didn't have ice cream with mine like you did. Well, I know Rick and I enjoyed it. And uh, we enjoyed watching you eat. And so for the flavor of the show, you would have to say that uh, people were enjoying themselves. And the food was delicious, and the crafts were, were pretty, uh, pretty amazing, some of the right. crafters. And I, again, want to thank Armstrong for, you know, what they do for us, for this, for the show here. Yeah. Just, but what we do every week, to, so we can keep putting the message out to the people and try to help them. Yeah, and these are fun messages. So, yes. Um, the festival's not over yet. We're going to go and watch the rest of the Dream Concert of the 60s. And I believe we've seen uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. We've seen the monkeys, the monkeys. And you can probably hear them in the background. And now we're going to see the Beach Boys. And there's going to be a beach party sponsored by Armstrong. So it ought to be fun. And I think Rick's going to film it. Well, that'd be great. I, want, I can't wait to see that. Well, thanks again for spending time with us and the Glass and Ethic Festival. Um, we're glad to do, like Jerry said, we're glad to do the Jeff and Jerry show everywhere we're at, especially here. Yep. So, hope you enjoy the concert.